After collecting spot prawns from our overnight traps and resetting them in part 1 of Vancouver Ocean Safari, we proceeded to hunt for winter chinook salmon in beautiful Hell Sound. Vancouver's winter chinook salmon fishery is largely unknown and can be surprisingly productive. Sit back and enjoy the salmon fishing action in part 2 of this Fishing with Rod episode. So right now we're running the new Gibbs Delta Guide Series Flashers and uh, we have the new Lemon Lime in the Chartreuse UV Blade and the uh, STS uh, with the green UV blade and the one side all moon jelly tape. And we're running the new Bon Chovi Custom G4 Spoon. And uh, on the other side we're running a um, Coho Killer in basic green and glow. Both these setups have been killer for uh, winter Chinook fishing. And uh, I know Jason was out yesterday and using his new uh, G-Force custom spoon and got into a few fish, so. Over here. Got it. So basically what we're doing is we're gathering DNA samples for the DFO to try and figure out where these fish in the winter months uh, are from. So the more information we have, the better they can uh, manage the fishery. So we're trying to do the best we can and help out and get little samples of these hole punches that they can analyze on their gene banking, I guess. Lots of fun, yeah. You didn't put up that much of a fight, but it was still lots of fun. It was yeah. really good. Still, a, still a decent looking fish yeah. for sure. Still early, in, early in the day. Hopefully, we get a few more. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> there's a bite. There's a bite. There's a bite. Get it. Get it. Go, 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 go. Sorry, I thought this was good. Do your drag too, if you can. It's probably all tight. Double, 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 double. Yep. That's a good one. Go 
easy. Are, are, are you off the clip there, Rick? Hit it again. Hurry. Hit it. All right, don't hit better that one. Yeah, he's on. He still got him. That would hit like a better fish. Yeah. I don't know if it is a better fish. Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll just get a quick one. That one looks better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I can give you a, yep. that. And if someone could just pass me the hole punch, we'll just get a... A little pinch there. Yeah, whatever. That's good. He didn't like that, did he? No. Taking a little uh, scale sample here and logging that, so just letting uh, us know that we have caught a Chinook. It was 48 centimeters, and I'm just putting on the vial number name, and then uh, Jason will send that off to get uh, to get logged and and keep track of them. Well, although we were able to hook into quite a few winter Chinook salmon, every single fish was undersized on this day. The minimum size of Chinook salmon in this area is 62 centimeters long, so any fish smaller than that has to be released. While there are definitely big ones around, it is not unusual to find smaller Chinook salmon in the younger age classes during the winter months. The day was still productive though, as we were able to collect many DNA samples for Fisheries and Oceans Canada to determine the origin of these fish. With this information, fishery managers can hopefully implement regulations which provide more fishing opportunities without damaging sensitive salmon stocks. We hope that you have enjoyed part 2 of our Vancouver Ocean Safari. Many thanks to our sponsor Gibbs Delta Tackle for making this feature possible. Please check out their website at gibbsdelta.com. We also like to thank Jason at Bon Chovy Fishing Charters for taking us out. If you want to do some salmon fishing, prawning and crabbing around Vancouver, be sure to book your trip at bonchovy.com. Finally, thanks to Jeff and Alex at Scotty Fishing and Outdoor Products for showing us the trap pool. For more information on their fishing and boating products, please check out their website at scotty.com. Don't forget to watch part 3 of this episode. And for more fishing information in British Columbia, please check out our website at fishingwithrod.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any other questions, be sure to email us at info at or leave a comment in this video. Until next time, good luck fishing.